Okay, here we are at uh, Sawston Steve's uh, Sierra, and he's going to show us what he's done. What's all this uh, gear and belts flying around on top, Steve? Well, it's driven from the main drive motor, so you've got the main spindle down here, normal milling spindle, and then there's a side milling spindle here for coming in when it turns into a lathe. So you can do pit circle diameter milling, drilling, etc. from a live spindle. Just show us that again because your hand so you, is your, your live spindle is on this side. Okay, which I can't see from here, is that you, right? You see just around the corner there is an ER16 collet assembly. Ah. That's ER16. Okay. So you can hold work in the three jaw chuck there. Which is a lathe, also a lathe headstock and also a dividing attachment as well with a, a magnetic clutch which joins the two. So it can be run as a lathe. Okay, and that's its own power motor there. That's right. This is in the process of being rejigged. So a three. And what is it? It's a, a tooling plate which holds the uh, side spindle. Which is the side spindle? I'm this on it this now. one here. Yeah, and that's it's for for, for uh, lathe work. Okay. So that will eventually end up down here. Yep. With the tools dropping downwards from there, so it can be used as a lathe machining on this. Yep. And then there'll be a, with one of these blocks of metal dropped on here in place of this. There'll be tooling coming out here, like drills, slot drills, or whatever, boring bars, etc. So you you do your uh, facing and turning with the tool in the tool holder here and then you do all your drilling and uh, boring with this okay and what have you used to hold the tools here it looks like hexagon this piece of hexagon here why hexagon why not square uh, that gives you three three tooling positions and each of the tools is way out of the way of the other one and it's dead easy to make okay i must say i find the pause clash you can never get they more, do. Than, more than two on decently they do and what about this green belt flying around here that's polyurethane belt which um drive belt and that was a bit long wasn't it because i gave it to you yes you just cut it and uh heat weld it together with what uh, you take a standard soldering arm and clip a piece of aluminium or copper onto the soldering arm bit which is usually running around at 350 centigrade mm -hmm. you pre-cut the ends of the um of the belt yeah uh, prior to that you've set up a v-block with a slot in it which mm -hmm. can be two v-blocks clamped in a vice or something like that with maybe a a three mil or four mil gap between them so that they're on the same level yep and then you heat both sides of the both ends of the belt on the soldering arm yeah wait until they go all gooey drop them into the v-block and squish them together okay wait until it sets which is only a matter of a few seconds and then clip the um clip the dross off around the outside the flat with a pair of side cutters or a scalpel okay there's a strange thing down here what's this shiny this thing. This one, yeah, that's uh, an engraving head, impact engraving head. Hold it still one second. Turn it, rotate a bit. Okay, and what's that made from? Uh, an electric motor with an eccentric and a ball race mounted on the shaft, so that it, the ball race is actually running eccentrically. And a slot in a, a rod here, so it, it pushes and pulls that rod up and down, like that. Yep. Uh, and you put a, a pointed tool in the hole in there, clamp it in. That then sits into the main milling spindle. You power the motor up and it then impact engraves anything that's underneath it. Okay, and what sort of um, uh, Z axis movement have we got there? Uh, if I remember rightly, or no, if I remember rightly, it was about two or three millimeters. Okay. Thank you.